Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, today's going to be an awesome day, and uh, I tell you what, we um, we had a great Sunday this past Sunday, and uh, this coming Sunday, uh, we're going to continue uh, with our series, Jesus Makes the Difference. And so, uh, I'll be coming out of John chapter 4 on Sunday, so um, I hope to see you here. It was really good last Sunday to be in one service, and and to see a lot of faces in the room. Uh, this morning, I want to share uh, a couple of verses with you out of 1 John chapter 4. And, and John writes, In this the love of God was manifest toward us, that God had sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. And in this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us, and he sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. You know, when you talk about the love of God, it's really hard to wrap our mind uh, around the concept of, of God's love. But John gives us some real insight here, and he gives us about four things uh, that help us to begin to, to digest exactly what all the love of God entails. Uh, first, he says that God's love is revealed. He says, in this, the love of God was manifest toward us, was revealed to us. Well, how did God reveal his love? He revealed his love by sending Jesus, his son, uh, into the world. And he is the full expression of the love of God. So it was revealed. Secondly, God's love is a life-giving love. Uh, before you become a Christian, uh, you are dead in your sins. But through Jesus, we become spiritually alive. We're born again. We have new birth. And there's no other venue for spiritual blessings than through Jesus. And so it brings us alive spiritually. The third thing, he says, is it's an appeasing love. And this aspect of God's love, uh, we really underappreciate it. Uh, to some extent, but it's really the heart of the gospel. Uh, think of it this way. The sins of man are offensive to God, okay? God looks at our sin, and it offends God because God is holy, God is just, and is pure. And so the holiness of God uh, could not overlook our sins. And so what did God do? He demonstrated his love toward us, and he sent Jesus into the world to pay the debt for our sin that we could not pay. And so the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, it appeased the holiness of God. But then the fourth thing he says is this, is finally, God's love is contagious. Once God's love is revealed to us, and once we receive eternal life, and, and once we realize that that the depth of Jesus appeased the holiness of God in us, God's love becomes contagious to us because he loves us. We want to love one another. And so let me just challenge you today as, as you begin your day to, to just walk and abide in the love of Christ, love God, and love others. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you today for your goodness, for your love, for your mercy, your grace. And I pray today, God, that you'd bless us in a special way as we reflect you to others. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.